Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Guys, we've got a killer war about to kick off here. We've got one hive versus DK Second Brigade. Now, this is the Clash Masters League. It is a Town Hall 13, 10 player per team tournament. We get one attack per player. We get one hour to plan and execute our attacks. We're gonna get everybody on voice and I'm hoping we can see some new attacks and I kind of hope we'll see some people using the new Super Archer. So guys, let's kick it off here. Make sure you like button, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to use code Eric and let's dive right into action. We got Stefki coming in with some Queen Charge Hybrid. And a simple here, poison up the Headhunters. Starting off with a Yeti Blimp. And he takes out the Town Hall with it and gets the CC pull right out of the gate. Now he can uh, charge the scatter shot, And then uh, hybrid from 12, I'd have to assume. Just uh, cut the Queen off there and uh, force her more towards the inner side of the base and protect her as well. So in comes the Super Wall Break. Gets it. A drama there. Minion down to help clean up the pups. And he's got a Balloon coming down at 6. Siping off a Mortar, or trying to at least. Is it a wizard just to finish it? I'm not sure what the plan is there exactly. Maybe he's in the maybe he's in the hybrid from the bottom. Yeah, he is. He's gonna put the king down there. And he already funneled the king to walk upward on the base there. I said, wait for the single front, we can hybrid right to the single and just let the queen do her thing up there on her own. You can uh, even keep her alive there, then this could be really, really good. I think both uh entries there get about equal access into the eagle artillery. Or about timing, I mean. They get about they get there about the same time. But this side makes it so we get the other scatter shot down sooner, so I can see why I'd want to do that. If we can keep the queen safe, it'll work. Queen taking uh, sweepers on her healers, uh, not going to back a little bit. He has to go to ability there. But that'll get him through the queen, maybe. He ranges up just in case. This uh, queen's getting targeted by the single, and she's probably going to drop at this point. But she does get the queen down, and he will get the healer transfer. So, not all bad. We're going to trap in the middle. The artillery finally drops. And the healers are going to... Where are they going to go? Are they going to go to the RC? They are. Look at that. They're going to go to the miners. Even better. All right. This has a really solid chance now. If we get to that bomb tower and the healers can actually heal through the bomb tower, he's going to be in a really, really good spot here. Stefki moving through nicely. Bro Champion needs to stay alive through the single Inferno. And this is done. 55 seconds. Grass skill is popping. Looking good right now. Rail Champion gets locked on too. Ground Skelly is still distracting her. Big uh, pack of Miners there. Come, some of them split off there. They do take out the uh, RC, but it looks like it's going to be enough here. Looks like Stefki's got it done. One high kicking off for the first attack there. And Stefki is able to get the three star and put us off to an early lead. That's what we'd like to see. Nice job, Stefki. Okay, check it out. Check it out. If I zap the Queen, the Scatter, and the Eagle. Then I sui my heroes after the scatter shot. I could actually, in in all reality, these uh, abilities are all going to be weakened here. So a uh, royal champion ability can finish a lot of these off here because they'll already be hit by two quakes. So I can actually send in my heroes after the bottom inferno and air defense, and then I send the royal champion with an ice golem after the scatter shot. And since it's already softened up, it'll go down fast. Then I can start the lalo from the nine o'clock side. Take the multi inferno early. Use a. Um. Wait, there's no ground or there's this one ground expo. I'm trying to think uh, how to get the enemy raw champion down, and I've got to make sure that I deal with the CC properly. Um, because I do kind of I would prefer to not uh use. I'd like the blimp to like travel across. Like if I have ward ability to protect myself from the RC, the CC. And the multi-inferno, I could use that opening to send a blimp across, and I don't find any sweepers if I make that approach. Oh, look, Punisher's in. Here we go. Punisher coming in with a zap quake hybrid. Zapped out an inferno and zapped out a scatter shot. Now he's gonna step right of the town hall. Nice entry so far. Baby Dragon pushing on the outside while the Queen pushes the inside. He's in a hybrid right from seven o'clock. And uh, we'll have that Siege Burks down in the bottom corner to funnel the Miners into the base there. Going after the Eagle and the Scatter Shot nice and early with the enemy Queen right there. Uh, he's got an Inferno Baby Dragon and a Hound that comes out of a CC. Now, if I get an Inferno Baby Dragon on defense on the attack that I do, that would be ideal. 
If I have to fight uh, headhunters, that's going to be a little bit tougher. If it's a full damage CC for the specific attack that I'm going to be doing, it will be rather difficult. But we'll see if we get it done here. Looks like he's able to easily uh, deal with that CC. And he can uh, go in here. He's got the headhunters that are coming out. And they're going to go engage the enemy king. And then they're going to go over to their enemy royal champion here and actually help out the hybrid. And get to the enemy queen and the enemy royal champion right there. Look at those headhunters going. Working with the hybrid. They're crossing the base now. Everything is distracted. They have free reign to get through. They get caught in the tornado trap, but they'll be all right for a second. Queen's still safe. She's got the freeze. Working her way into that as single inferno over there. She still has her ability. You can just let her go to auto ability. There's no splash damage in the area. He pops the ability anyways. And I use a lot of that ability to get through the ground skellies and... A little unfortunate, but he's doing okay here. Royal Champion still has her ability, working her way through. Looking good here from Punisher as he steps into single inferno, gets it down. Queen is safe, working out around to the final defenses. She steps into the bomb tower, but I think the other troops are going to get there first. She pops her, uh, well, that's a Royal Champion ability that popped her ability. And it is another triple. Punisher coming in here, and we are two for two. Nice hit. Absolutely love it. Queen charge. Hybrid with the zap quake. Up. Just absolutely awesome. Perfect. I feel like let's go. I feel like let's go. Let's take them down, guys. Let's take them down. All right. Hopefully I don't mess this up. We got it. We got two triples on the board. And let's see if we can make that three right now. Ready? I was a little nerve-wracking, right? Here we go. We're going live. Zapquake Lalo not going after the CC. In three, two, one, roar. Okay. This queen is circle around. We want all the lightnings right here, but we're going to spread out the quakes. Make sure that queen drops. Oh, she didn't die. Okay, we'll finish her off in a second. Get the yeti. King. Uh, loon. Why not? Minion. Fabric. Escal. Nice golem got targeted. Perfect. Nice golem. I see. You're also step in there and take out the, take the last shot on the enemy queen. I see you now. Okay, get those buildings down. Perfect. DC's pulled. We got headhunters. Um, Valkyrie. This queen. Okay, got the headhunters down. Starting Lalo. all that up. Oh, a little bit late on that. Just here. Is that? Here. We gotta go back for that Tesla on the other side, so we need to start cleaning up on this opposite side. Okay, we got enough time. The balloons are gonna have to travel back. We got the hound popped. That uh, oh, we get the we're in the haste there. We're we're getting some uh, good progress back across the base here. And the minions are staying away from the tests that they got skipped. Headhunters are on uh, cleanup. Starting to lose a little bit of cleanup on the middle there, but uh, the balloons are crossing over. They'll get to the Tesla. As long as we don't lose too much cleanup in the process, the balloons can clean up that section. We got to get the CC down. It's looking pretty good here. I think we might have it, but time is going to potentially be an issue. 
Grand Skelly's there popping. Balloons get a big old section out there. Boom! You see that? Did you see that? That was huge. All right, get it down. Get it down. A couple more seconds. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Get it. Get it. Get it. One more shot. One more shot. Oh man! It is a 99% time fail. Oh crap! <laughs> the freaking Tesla. Freaking Tesla made me cross back over the base there. Killed too much time, and it is a 99% freaking time fail. Ah. Oh. Rip the dream. Rip the dream. Did somebody else go live while I was in there? Penguin went in while I was live. We'll go check that out next, but we've got Sebix, and we'll see what a penguin did there. But we are three out of four. And our only fail is my freaking 99% time fail. But Sebix is coming in next. He's got some Queen Charge Hybrid with the Zap Quake. Let's see if he can get it done here. They were dragging to form half the funnel. Balloons to form the other half. Queen charging in after the single Inferno. Let's see if he can get in here and charge that single Inferno. He's got the freeze to protect her. No rage is down yet. He's ended in the wizard just to finish the funnel there. Drive the queen in so she doesn't get distracted. Baby Dragon doing some work on the outside. Freezes it again. No rage is here. It's gonna cost him time because he could have. He had to. He had to either rage or freeze, but he's gonna have to freeze anyways. So two freezes, cheaper than a rage there when you already have limited spell support. And the king will work on the outside there. The king is taking the eagle strikes there, so the queen doesn't have to take it. She pops her uh, rage there. Now she can fight out the enemy queen. Hog comes down to pull the CC. Deep pull here of the CC. He's got Infernal Baby Dragon. He's probably going to have to end up having to use his ability with that. And, uh, let's lock onto that Inferno Baby Dragon. No, we locked onto the Hound first. That's not what he wanted there. That's not good. King's still working on the outside. Siege Barracks joins him out there. Hybrid goes through the Town Hall. The Queen needs to take out that Bomb Tower. The Bomb Tower is going to hurt. He's going to have to force a heal in that area. No, the Royal Champion actually gets it before the Hogs really get hit. So he's actually going to make out pretty nicely. The queen did end up surviving there. And she's tanking the scatter shot, but not the Expos. The Expos are on the Hogs. They're caught in the Tornado Trap. Row Champion moving up. Did not take out that? That'd be Row Champion. He's got Hogs coming out of the Siege Barracks. Coming to the backside. He's still got the Pekka and the King working on the top side. And they're circling around into the backside. Status got. He's got a double giant bomb going off by the Eagle Artillery. That stopped up a ton of his uh, troops there. As the, uh, the remaining... Scattershot is doing some work there. He's got to get through it. Pops his Royal Champion ability. The Hogs get inside of the minimum range while the Royal Champion is tanking it. And she's got the King. He sends in a Headhunter. The Headhunter helps him get the King down. It's looking good here for Sebus. He's got a minute. He's got his Queen still alive here. He's got the final defenses dropping right now. Pekka takes out the last Archer Tower. Hogs take out the last mortar. It's another triple on the board here. Sebex connects. And, you know, it sucks to be five attacks into this war now. And be the only person who failed <laughs> by freaking one hit. One more second or something there. But we are currently four out of five and a 99%. What a killer start here. But we're only halfway through tax and DK Second Brigade has to respond as well. So this is this is just a beautiful war. Uh, let's go check out Bad Blue Penguin's attack here. So he did a Zap Quake Lalo. But he went after the... He didn't bring a poison, which means he take, he went after the CC, right? And if he wasn't actually targeting the queen there, he probably could have gone for more quakes like I did. Like he could have gone three, five lightning and three quakes there and got more value because he would have, the quakes would have damaged up all these extra structures more than the single quake did because the extra quakes hitting those other structures is just a little bit of overkill on those structures that we're going to go down regardless. You know what I mean? So go into five lightnings and three quakes and you'll still get the CC down, but you get a little bit more damage on all these other structures and get them a little bit lower, making it easier to move through them, but not, uh, this doesn't seem to really matter that much. He goes in, obviously this attack is proven to work. We've just found small things like that to improve the efficiency on it, but the Queen's gonna step up there. She takes the town hall and she can work her way over to the enemy Royal Champion, but the Queen, is not going to have to take her out because the king got her under control there. He takes a bomb tower and will continue on taking for that queen for a little bit longer. She still has her ability, so it looks like she'll grab the wizard tower and the air defense as well. So that's some big value. Does she get the, the, air, the sweeper? She gets a sweeper there. No, not, not going to get the sweeper. Would love to see her get the sweeper. That's a huge impact sweeper right there, you know what I mean? Like right there in the middle of the base there facing the scatter and the eagle. 
Either way, Bad Blue Penguin just uh, sweeping the base with Lalo. He's got the Queen on the inside. He's got the Stone Slammer. I wonder if a drag is going to come out of the Stone Slammer or if he takes her out with Headhunters. I don't see any Headhunters as comp, so I assume he's going to open up the Stone Slammer, run top of the Queen's head, and then pop the Royal Champ, or the Warden ability, I mean, to protect everything from it. Yeah, so look at that. There it is. Dragon comes out, and actually, something locked onto that enemy, uh, or it locked onto the Stone Slammer there. And it actually tanked for a little bit and took some shots. I think the queen actually ended up locking onto it and he didn't have to open it manually. So, got some extra tanking value on top of that. But look how badly this is crushed. This is a beautiful hit by uh, Bad Blue Penguin. Nice job, man. We're on fire right now. We're on fire. I just need another second. I just need to prove the efficiency just like, like that much. Ah, that's going to bug me. That's going to bug me. I feel like DK Second Brigade is going to Trojan bore us. Are they all going to wait to the last second and go at the same time? That would be kind of fun. All right. Shaddam coming in here. Trying to keep this streak alive here. Four out of five triples. And that 99% epic fail for me. Let's see if Shaddam can come in here and make it six. And just make me look bad, you know? He's uh, struggling to get that down hall. But he is going to make it, I think. We have come out of there. Sneaky goblins. Ooh, we lost the sneaky goblins to the... Oh, they, they survived it. There's some small bombs in there. See those small bombs going out there, hitting the sneaky goblins? Trying to take him out there. That was, uh, that was guarded against that specifically. But he did get the town hall down, and he got the CC pull. Infernal Baby Dragon comes out, and he doesn't finish the funnel there. He's going to have to go in there with a wizard or something over here to finish the funnel. Large Tower is tanked, so he can deal with it just fine. But he needs to get a wizard down and uh, clear some trash over here. But he needs that Arch Tower to finish getting tanked as well. Even keep this under control. Well, hogs come down to take the arch tower. Miner comes down as well. Miner's gonna finish the funnel there. Perfect. The queen will stay to the left or right. I mean, I know my directions. I promise. And uh, we'll see if he can get in here. Take the scatter and charge all the way to that enemy queen. He's got the hybrid here, and this is a full scale hybrid, not with a zap, but with the yeti blimp there. That kind of serves the same function as what the zap would normally do by getting the CC pull. And he loses his uh, super wall breaker there. He's trying to go for an extra layer. And he hit a spring trap as it passed through. He doesn't have a spare. So he's just going to have to hybrid and let the queen go through a wall. He will cut her off and uh, see what he can do. King work on the outside. Heal comes down to get him through this initial section. Hasn't used the warden yet. But if the warden could protect the queen, that'd be huge. The queen ends up going to ability. Queen's uh, heal is getting targeted now by the air defense, but she should turn on it pretty soon. Got the Royal Champion doing some great work on the in the middle there. He's uh, got some Grand Skellies popping up there. The Hogs will get down the single Inferno while the Minus top to take out the Grand Skellies. The Queen going through the wall there. She's actually going to It's actually better. Oh, she breaks the outside. That, that actually works out better because if she goes to the outside and then comes back in, then she can reach the single Inferno. That's actually going to be beneficial for him, but struggling to get to the single Inferno here. The Roar Champion did end up dropping, and he has to loop all the way around to get back to it. That's going to cause some problems here. The Queen's still collecting some percentage on the outside. Giant Bomb goes off, and he hits a... Looks like a whole bunch of... Or I don't, I'm not sure what got hit by that Giant Bomb. I saw something die. Queen's still staying strong. He's still got a Rage. Well, he rages up the Miners. The Queen does ultimately drop here. Make it through. I think he's going to... I feel like he's not going to make it. It's close, but uh, even if he uh, survives with the miners, he's going to run out of time before he can finish it. Nice try, Shadam. Almost had it. I'll end it at 90%. Alright. I uh, don't have the lowest attack in the war anymore. Who just uh, joined a voice there? Hey. Suze. What hey. is up? Hey. Long time. How are you doing? This feels, it feels like old times. It does. Crazy. Somebody sent me a, a Discord invite to a server, and it said I can't join oh. because I already had 100 servers, and I was at the limit. Oh, man. I got rid of I had, like, 100. I had to get rid of them, too. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh. it's pretty crazy. It but yeah, is. Everybody, this is. Uh, this is Suze, the previous leader of One Hive, now retired and uh, pretty OP, but let's dive into this. We got Slot coming in here. Using the super archers. Interesting. What was he aiming after there? That he, he took out the big section of the bottom corner. If he was going after air defenses, he didn't get them. But he did form a solid funnel out of it. Taking out uh, double layers there. And then just like clearing the lines. 
They're gonna die pretty quick to that town hall blast, I think. But yeah, see, they don't have a lot of health there, but they get some serious range there with that new super shot. Yeah, he's got the town hall down. I wonder if he can get that uh, single inferno down too. I think he will actually get it because he's got all the archers tanking for the queen. No, he's not gonna make it through. Just kidding. Yeah. I don't know about this one. He doesn't have clear pathing for the Lalo. Like, they'll path through this area here, but he has this extra string of buildings here that he has to go through. He's got a couple blues going for that string, so he's adjusting to it pretty well. But he's got to push through both scatters. He'll have this warden to protect him from it. This scatter here is going to be a problem. He'll have the hound's pups protect him for a little bit. Oh, look at the king. The king gets in there, and the king is tanking the scatter. That's actually going to be huge for him here. Freeze up the eagle, freeze up the other scatter. King doing work there, protecting everything from the scatter. They get inside of the range for it, and they'll take him down. We still gotta get to that multi inferno. The slammer's still alive. He's still gotta freeze. He freezes it. He gets the other scatter down. He still has a haste. He's got it. Slot. Coming in here for the first strike from DK Second Brigade. And we've got another triple on the board here with a ton of swag. He's got tons of cleanup. He's almost got a minute. He's got a freeze. He's got a haste. And he doesn't need either of them. Absolutely crushed it here. Nice attack here, Slot. And uh, giving their team a chance after their one high strong start. Beautiful. Archer's got... Just started on the storage here. But there's no defenses to get really reach. So he's just like getting... He's just like shoot him down the line and start on the storage. So like... I think half of them were going one way and half of them were going the other way. Or is going after the wizard tower, I guess. Okay. Interesting angle. And then zaps out while he's waiting for the archers to go through. Very cool. Oh, there we go. Lauren. Lauren. Lauren? <laughs> that, that, uh, that name is unpronounceable. But I guess that's what you expect out of the, the Danish, right? <laughs> it's got weird letters in it. All right, here we go. We got some... We got some Yeti Bomb. And he's going to go for a Queen Charge Hybrid. Probably going to charge... Oh, he could go either way here. There's good value on both sides. You go to the Scatter or go to the Town Hall. But the CC is one of the most important things here. He didn't get the CC pulled with the Yeti Bomb, so he has to pull with the Queen. Watch the Ground Expos, though. The Grand Expos are going to be locked on the Queen while she's fighting the CC, potentially. And if they are, that's going to cause some big problems here, potentially. So let's uh, be ready for that. He's got a Wizard down in the bottom corner. Just going to clear that out there. Kind of a waste there, in my opinion. It's going to end up dying, but it's all right. Maybe Archer just eventually take that down would have been just, a, just as uh, good there. But he ends up getting the CC pull. Double Grand Expo is locked onto the Queen, just like I expected. He doesn't get the full CC pull. He popped the Poison, though. The Queen should pull the rest right now. There it is. Comes the Hound. Another Headhunter. Oh, he gets the Town Hall activation at the wrong time. It's not good. That's not good. Freezes it. That's smart. He free he throws up the head on her as well. Locking the header down while it's inside of the rage. Or inside of the poison, I mean. And now the poison is worn off. He's got double ground expo. That is a dangerous charge there. You really have to watch for those uh, ground expos hitting you from far away when the queen isn't going to engage them. Especially when you're going to fight a hound or something like that. It is a very, very, very dangerous spot to fight it. And he isn't going to get the town hall down because of it. This isn't turning into a fail. Nice try for Lauren. Too many R's. And, uh, you will try to lock up the two star. Or maybe it's a she. I don't know. But, uh, we'll see if, uh... And get uh, through there. Get that 50%. Should be able to get it. Two more heals. We shouldn't have too much problems. He's already dealt with. Could prop might even be able to wrap in all the way up into the 70s here, depending on what this what he does with the scatter shot on the backside. He's got double scatter shot on the backside. That still has to get dealt with. Row champion. I'm not gonna get a ton out of her ability because she's about to engage the enemy queen. Hanging in there for some more percentage here for a little bit. Row champion's in a drop. Yeah, he's in a struggle. 50% and climbing. Not going to get a lot of this one. Nice try. Little bit ambitious on that charge there to fight the CC under two grand expo fire. You can't really do that. You really have to keep an eye on the damage density when you're trying to figure out your queen charges. And grand expos are the... Uh, they're just a death sentence for a queen charge if you try to charge and engage too many at the same time. Oh, there we go. 52%. Not their hottest attack there. Hey, Ernest Coco. 
Hey, Coco's here. What's up, buddy? Hey, sorry. I've been pressed for time. I jumped in the last moment. Um, yeah? Hey, whenever you're ready, I can get you to spot me. Yeah, yeah. Um, you want to go now? I'll, uh... uh in, in the next few minutes, for sure. You let me All know right. when it's good for you. All right, we'll go we'll go after, uh... Ben Zen is, uh, done here. I'm going with, some um, cool. Zapquake Lalo. And the RC after the single Inferno, and... Had to freeze it. No ice golems there, but he does, uh, get her to step through there. Freezes up. Going for the headhunters to try to take out the enemy queen. Does he get her down? Oh, that's gonna be a big ass there for that. He loses both of the headhunters, and he doesn't get the queen down. Not gonna work for him there. King's gonna step in there. The, I really like this king, because the king's gonna step up there and take out the town hall. But can he have enough out of his ability to still get to the enemy queen? He honestly should have held on to the headhunters and used them right now. But he should, he should still be able to get that enemy queen down with the king, I would think. With the barbarians there tanking? Oh, never mind. The scatter shot's gonna take all the barbs. Lose his uh, cover there. If he would've used a headhunter now, then that would've been a lot better. The struggle now, and uh... Some of is not going where he wanted to either. Hmm. What do you think? Does it have a chance still? It's not over. It's just, uh... It still could work. Pups the warden to protect the... Oh, I don't know about this. Yeah, it's not gonna- this isn't gonna happen. Nice try! <laughs> Everybody's going live right now. <laughs> go, 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 go! You're- you're up! We'll let them, uh... You ready? Alright, awesome, buddy. Hey, if you can call the, uh, CC and traps for me. I'm Done. doing a zap yeti on number one. Alright. I'm gonna zap that 12 o'clock infernal tower corner. Okay. It'll be a short one walk after that. Um, I'm using some super goblins to, print, to, to help clear some of those, uh, you know, uh, elixir gold mine trash. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. going to send the, the yetis right into that 1030 IT compartment with a kill squad. Um, I'm going to support it with some flanking funneling after that starts. I'll put the, uh, the siege barracks at the camp at nine. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to use an ice golem king to come in at that infernal tower scatter shot at 130. Uh, I'll, ha I'll have those pumps and gold mines. Uh, cleared, so it'll be a clear pass straight in. The, the kill squad, meanwhile, will be jumping into the town hall uh, compartment and, and should go right into the core. I like it. Um, leave up something over for the king to beat on for just a second so the ice golem can pass him up. Like if you put the ice golem and, and the king on the mortar and exactly. then leave up a uh, leave up the pump right above the mortar then the king will have exactly. to attack so he so the ice golem steps in the single first great minds think alike all right good luck I right. going in Off. You. I'm good. Are you couple of it again. Coming in. Perfect. Got your squeak toy. Got it. <laughs> Sorry. I think, I think those uh, giant bombs got the, uh, the kill squad. Yeah. I debated about toming earlier. Should have. All right. You're right. You got the healers, Phil, but they're on the bowler. You get poison, 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 poison. Yeah, it's down. Dang. Ooh. Little squad got giant bombed. Uh, he's gonna get the town hall down. He's, uh... Don't have much left to work with. We're gonna just send it in. Yeah, hope we can get it. That RC's gonna pull it off, though. Oh, you got a black mine. Oh, no! Sorry, guys. <laughs> Good thing we got a whole bunch of triples to make up for it, right? Uh, nice try, Coco. Nice try. All right, Thanks, we got buddy. we got Peter. We go dive in here to Peter. Peter is coming in with a oh, he's a little bit into his attack. We'll uh, dive into the other ones. 
Going to Chubbs. Chubbs is all fresh here. Let's see what he's got. He's doing a Zap Quake. Grabs a Scatter. Grabs a single Inferno. And he's doing a Warden Walk to go and clear the other half of the funnel. Let's see if he can uh, get something to step all the way in here and clear and finish the funnel here. That's where he's going to charge in through the cannon and the Dark Elixir storage. A bunch of balloons come down to fight some Teslas and they get the Arch Tower down. Did you get it? Not quite, not quite. But uh, it's enough that the Warden will be able to finish it. You can one-shot that uh, Arch Tower. Won't cause too much problem. On the other side. Doing work. Super Wall Break after the corner building goes down. So the Super Wall Breaker will target the compartment with the Town Hall. Far so good. If you get that King to step in and... Finish the funnel there. The barb's actually going to step in. They hit a giant bomb on the inside, though, and uh, leave those buildings up and maybe cause some stuff to veer up there, but I think you'll be all right. Looks like everything's going in. Got the jump in the middle. Ward ability through the town halls. He engages the backside scatter shot and takes the eagle strikes. Beautiful. Or just huge amount of value out of this uh, ward ability there, but the healers are transferred onto the yetis, so that's looking good. The queen has one healer. Stick him back. And she's slowly cleaning up the pups here. He's got the hogs coming to the siege barracks. Row champion sweeping around. Nothing to really stop with the row champion. No heroes. No single infernos. He's got tanking from the yetis in the middle. The yetis are holding the healers. Looking good. The pack on the outside. Clearing nicely. Got the queen. Pops her ability. Takes out the enemy queen. Now he's just going to get the eagle artillery down. And he needs the hogs to get in front of the row champion. And protect her from that single inferno. Might need to pop that row champion ability early. If uh, she potentially is going to get in danger. But he'll be alright. Looks like he's got the pathing into it. The row champion is avoiding the single. And uh, he'll get through it. Nice job. Looking good. So that's the road champion ability, and you can use it to take out two of the last remaining defenses here. Pops it right there. Takes them all out. They're all weakened already. And it is a triple here from Chubbs. Let's dive into the final attacks here. And let's see what Ray's is doing. Ray's coming in here with some Queen Charge Hybrid for the final attack from one hive. I don't know how many triples we have, but we have more than enough to cover for... Uh, Coco here. He carries this enough in the other wars there. It's his turn to sit back and take a break and let us uh, handle this one. We got under control here. And we gotta go see what uh, DK Second Brigade is doing on the other side there. They haven't got a lot of triples on the board there, so I feel like we have the advantage. But we'll see if Ray's can put one more on the board here. Just guarantee that we stay just a little bit more ahead. So he's got the CC pull. And just outside of the rage there, well, he fights the CC. He's got two Expos on him. It's not too much damage. He can handle that. He's uh, onto the enemy... Pound, and he'll probably have to rage here as it starts to get low. He poisons up. For the rage. There we go. Rage while he fights the pups so he doesn't get overwhelmed. Okay. King comes down to the side there. He's still got that blimp. The blimp. Where's that blimp gonna land? You think he's gonna go out to the other, the backside scatter? Or does he go for the single inferno compartment? You got the bomb tower in that compartment, so it wouldn't be bad to go into that compartment and try to force everything to go through the middle instead of. Wrapping around that corner. They could use it to improve the pathing and drive everything towards the scatters. Let's see what he does. Queen. Get into the bomb tower. Get into the scatter. Last rage is used. He's still got a freeze though. Got his uh, first heal down. It's like uh, DK Second Brigade is in for their final attacks here. As we wind into the final minutes here. The Queen actually beating through the wall there. And she's going to get the Eagle Artillery down. That is huge right there. And he has their ability that will get him through the Enemy King as well. He switches out to a Stone Slammer. And the Stone Slammer is going to work its way through. Freezes up to protect him from the Single Inferno and the Wizard Tower. He's got the heal. The heal is actually covering the big pack of miners as they get through the enemy king. That's going to keep the queen ability intact. And he can just actually hold on to the queen ability. Don't use it right now. Let the queen just sit there and tank the scatter shot and work their way in. He does end up popping it there. And they the, do switch targets there. That probably wasn't the best idea. Because uh, then the arch tower ended up taking out the road champion while everything was tanked there. But he does make it through anyways. It looks like Raze has got this one under control. It's another triple. One hive. OP coming in here. And just landing triple after triple after triple. Let's bounce over to the other side here. And let's see the final attacks of the war coming in. It is damn against me. Coming in with a wall wrecker kill squad. He's got yetis somewhere in there. It's probably to use for a funnel. And he's got a, a hound that he's fighting off there. The queen's stuck in the hound there. That's never what you want to see when you're going for a kill squad attack. A hound will tie up that queen forever. And when you have so few troops that can uh, take away a ton of value out of the queen out of the from the queen there and 
Mixo, so she loses all the tanky by the time she gets through all the pups. That's why it's such a strong CC. But he'll continue forward. Might be able to get to that scatter. And if he gets the scatter, that'd be huge. He looks like he should be able to get it, right? I don't know. I don't know. He's losing his archers fast. And she goes the wrong way! She goes the wrong way! Does she get the archer or the wizard tower? She does get the wizard tower at least. But now he's going to end on a scatter shot, and that's going to be very, very difficult. He definitely wanted to get that down. Let's see if he still got enough out of that that he's going to be able to make it through. This is just a straight up kill squad Lalu. He's got tons of spell support for this. He can heal as he goes into that backside multi or the backside scatter shot. I mean, freezes up the town hall and the wizard tower together. Rages as well. Now he's got the warden that'll carry him into my scatter shot as well. He's got two freezes. This is looking really good here for him. Damn. I think he's got it. Sui Lalo foregoing the opportunity to go with the zaps and going in with the straight up Sui Hero Lalo with the kill squad and he gets it done. Beautiful job here. Beautiful attack. That's what we like to see. It's my base, but I mean, if if he was doing like a spam attack there, then I'd be I'd be a little upset that I got a triple. But with a beautiful attack like that, I couldn't be more happy for him. Nice job here. And uh, let's see if it's enough. Let's see if it's enough there. Let's see how many triples they got on the board compared to us. And uh, we'll see who is surviving this round of the Clash Masters League. We ready? Here we go. War is ended. One hive with six triples on the board there. With one one star and we have on the other side there we have no one stars but we got three triples on the board let's give credit where credit's due damn got me uh dad dad spanning got uh punisher and slot took down shadam so nice war guys uh but one hive's gonna be the better team today and if you're watching this later on youtube make sure you guys uh hit the like button hit that subscribe button and uh Use code Eric.